Thank you for the opportunity to talk here. I'm very glad to be able to present Gentonic, which is, I hope, a GitHub for science, finally. And this uh, project uh, born as a data management project um, here in Germany, in Berlin, with three different data managers, we get back together and talk about that. And it's implemented by Gnode in Germany. But the idea is to use the idea of GitHub, which was very successful because of the version control system and the team organization coordination tool that are implemented for coding, right? And now it's also used for non-coders because it has also markdown possibilities and templates. It's used to create websites, to create books, and so on and so on. But why is it not used for research project itself? It has two different uh, things. The first one is that research, at least in the life science, is based a lot on large files which are not text and this is not really good for GitHub. But the second reason is that um, there's a lot of administration task to be involved, especially if you want, want to make fancy stuff with GitHub. And it has then a bad cost to benefit ratio. So that's where we came with Gintonic, which is basically bringing, getting GitHub, but having more functionality and uh, simplified administration of tasks. And this is mostly based on the Git submodule magic or the technology behind that, which on your computer will look like normal folders, but are actually Git repositories on, on the server. It means that different uh, folders can be shared differently and can be published differently than the others. And uh, Tonic is basically a robot or a boat, which take a folder tree template add synchronization scripts and use this submodule technology to create Git repositories on a server. And then you can basically clone it on different computers. And via the synchronization scripts, you synchronize all the repository and the submodules to go to backup and have all the data management uh, tools you want there. You can also take part of this repository and publish it. And this was primarily meant for data, but you could also think that the manuscript folder there could also be published directly from your computer to a service via OGS or any other tools, which is Git-based. So it has large file support via the Git Annex technology, easy publication, easy administration, easy synchronization, and last but not least, a research-oriented template. Uh, to work on this template, we made drafts, had a survey, got 50 responses from our uh, researchers. And now we're working on a new template that have three basic level of administration. One is the project, which is the main Git repositories with some um, folder structure to ease or the organization of the files. And then the experiment level, which is basically a project is made of many experiments and for each experiment, we can add different folders at different places in the uh, folder tree of the project level. And last but not least, there is a laboratory level where basic subfolders can be synchronized differently with a different folder st structure. So for instance, the students works with a project repository, but the PI just have, won't have access to the figures, but from different projects. On top of that, you have all usual collaboration tool you have on GitHub, like issues, pull request, and, and some automation. It's an open infrastructure because everything is open source. Uh, the Gin platform is based on Gox, which is also open source. And Tonic is also um, provided um, the, with a free license and everything can be installed with Docker. And even I can do it, so it's very, very easy. And it will be maintained by Gnode in the future. So um, stay up to date. There will be a blog post in the GNR um, platform. And Simon Steele probably here, which is responsible for that. So I thank him already. And um, I will be happy to answer your question on Slack. Thank you very much.